Hello, my name's David Clark and I'm the Managing Director of DVC and I'm going to take you through a tutorial on some of the basics of what is one of the best animated titling programs for Grass Valley Edius called VizTitle. So here I am inside of Edius and I'm going to try and make up a new title. Now there's various ways of doing that. The obvious one is to come up to this little T button here and then choose this title from the list of options. But you've also got a series of presets which you can just drag and put straight away onto the timeline. Now to get to them, come up to these various headings here and go to Tools and choose the Edius Title Template Library. And then it comes up with a whole bunch of pre-made different title templates for you to nick and customize. So it's the easiest way to make a nice looking title. Grab one of these and then modify it. You can see you've got different layouts, sort of subtitles, images, different kinds of movies, and dynamic textures. I'm just going to go to layout here, grab hold of one of these, and then just drag it and put it onto the timeline. Now I can put it onto a video track, or I can put it onto a title track. If you put it onto the title track, then you automatically get a cross dissolve at the start and the end, just like you would with a quick title title. Click the play button and off it plays. Now that is a fancy looking title which has got a bit of a sparkly effect on it using what's called a particle plugin which is in this title. See there's a bit of animation going on. It's fading in and fading out. If I'd have put it on the video track you wouldn't have had the fade in and out which in this case I don't need because it's all animated to fade in and out but basically that's it. I've now got a title on the timeline I want to do something with it. The obvious thing is I need to change the words. So to do that you've actually got to get into this title itself. So to do that just double click on the title and it opens up this interface. Now this is a kind of mini viz title. This isn't the full thing, it's the mini viz title. You can get to the full viz title by clicking this T button. But sometimes you don't need to. Suppose I've just taken that template, thrown it onto the timeline. I want to change the words. We can see here I've got the words heading staring me in the face. Let's call it basics. Having changed the word, you'll notice the word basic there is now not in the right place. I really need to move this all over. Now you would expect you can just come over to it and then click and then drag, but you'll notice every time I try and click on the words, it selects something else. I can click back on this text box up here and it'll select the words again, but try and drag it and it selects something else. What is actually happening here is that this title is composed of several layers and every time you click on the picture over here, it selects the very top layer, which is the sparkles, and the words are slightly behind it. Now one way around that's very simple. Select the text and then use these buttons to move the order of the different layers. So having selected the text, I can click on that, bring the words to the front and then move them across and then click on one of these to move them back again. So there we are, and I've got the words of the basics of Edius, I've got that sparkle and everything else. At this point, I just need to go back to Edius and get on with the rest of the stuff. So to get out of here, you've got all these various buttons down the bottom. That one will simply save it. That one will save it and give it a new name. That one will save it and ask you to give it a name. I'm just going to click on Save. And I'm back into Edius and I can see I've got the title. Up it pops. Sparkly stuff. Words. Sits there for a bit. And then disappears. Now I'm thinking that title's a bit long, I'd like to make it shorter. So you might think you'd come over here and grab it and drag it and make it a bit shorter. But what you'll notice there is all I've done really is just chop the end off. It still flies in, it still takes just as long for everything else to squiggle around and so on. But I've just missed the end, so the title actually doesn't go away. That's because an animated title is a bit like a video clip. You know, if you take a regular video clip and then shorten it down, then it just chops the end off. It doesn't make it go faster or slower. You could actually come in here and then use Edius's speed change on it if you wanted to, but that's a rather silly way of doing it because there is a very nice quick way of doing this inside that little viz title interface. Double click on it and then make sure you can see the timeline at the same time as the viz title window. Grab this cursor and put the cursor wherever you want the title to finish. Having done that, come up here and click this button and then save it and you'll notice now the whole thing got shorter and the title is actually quicker so it's taken the whole of that title and just made the whole thing run quicker you can make them longer as well again double click on it
put the cursor somewhere else click on this button and save now the title's got longer now you notice it didn't get longer on the timeline unfortunately this title couldn't get it to do that inside of Edia so I've got to grab hold of the edge and drag it out but now I've got a longer title I pop back into that dialog box there's a lot of other useful things you can do here so for example I can change the size of the text you got this thing here which is the height that's the width drag them and they're both locked together if you want to unlock it just click on the little padlock and then you can you know, make the text wider but not higher generally I like to keep the aspect ratio the same you've got things for leading and kerning so this one is kerning how far apart the letters are this one is leading leading is if you've got several lines how far spaced the lines are in this case they're not spaced at all. To change these, I'm just going over the box, just like I would in Edius, putting down my mouse and dragging left and right. I can also click on it, put in a number. And there's bold, italic, typeface, all the usual stuff that you've got. So pretty straightforward little interface, an awful lot that you can do with it. You can actually still access title templates from here. So if I come down and click on this button, down here you get all those templates that I actually had up in the window and I can grab any of those and put them on screen decide where they're going to go now why is that black because this particular animation as an explosion starts off black and then it explodes so you won't see it until it's actually animated but I'm saying it's going there it's about that size back in Edius oh the little explosion now in one of my original Viz title tutorials I showed you a very quick way of making another title that looks exactly the same but with different words so I'll just go over that again quickly. You've got your title on the timeline. What you want to do is make a copy of it. So you could select it, Control C, decide where you want to put it, Control V. Or my favorite way of copying things in Edius, grab hold of it, start dragging. As you can see that shaded area, hold down on Control and the little plus appears. Let go and now you have two copies of the same title. Then double click on it, change the words. Yep, happy with that. Now if I clicked on the save button, then what would happen is it would save it and both of these titles, which are currently the same thing, would now say more basics of this title. Instead I'm going to click on one of these two. Now this one will just automatically give it a name, or click on this one, it'll actually prompt you for a name, so I'll probably call it... You don't have to name it. It's quite nice to see the words actually there on the timeline as opposed to this, which is just the time and date it was created. So that's using the mini interface. Now you might say, well I've done this title and come into here and there's a few things I'd like to do with it but at the moment you know, there's not enough control over it here. This is very good because it's nice and quick but I want to get into the full Viz title interface for a bit more control. That's when you click on this button. And it opens up the full Viz title interface. As you can see here, this particular title is actually composed of several layers. This area is very much like a timeline inside of Edius, and you'll find the keyframe is very much like the keyframe inside of Edius. So you have a bunch of different tracks, and each track represents something different on screen. And you can see that, for example, this track here, which is these called plugin, that one is actually the sparkly effect. It's going over the words. It starts there and finishes here, which is sort of starting about one second, finishing at about five seconds. And of course you can now make that a bit longer or a bit shorter just by dragging it on the timeline and then you've got a lot of other controls to do all sorts of different things what I'll do in a second is I'll create a title from scratch and explain about a lot of these different things having laid out your animation I just normally come out of it I tend to come up to the little red X and just click on close because it's simple you could have come to the Edius heading and then chosen any of these which as you'll notice are the same kind of things we had in the mini titler and that's now saved whatever my changes were. If you've got version 2 of this title and you actually want to go from here straight into the main titling program, you want to bypass the mini titler, just hold down on the shift key and double click and then you'll go straight into the main titler. Just a nice quick way of getting into this if you want to just go straight into it. So in my next section what I'm going to do is take a look at the basics of the main titling program.